Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Victoria Lynn and we're in my bathroom right now and I haven't posted a YouTube video in months. So this is my first video of 2020 and I am so excited to be right here right now posting this video and talking with you guys again. It has been a hot minute since I've posted a YouTube video, but I really want to change that this year and I'd love to actually do like a get ready with me or just a chatty video about where I've been, why I took a break from YouTube, because there definitely are some reasons and I would just love to like chat through that with you guys. So if you wanna see a video on that, let me know down below in the comments. But that is not why we're here today. We are here because I actually took a poll on Instagram stories and you guys voted. So choice A was my vanity tour. Second choice was answering your assumptions about me. Then I also asked you guys if you wanted a chit chat, get ready with me makeup tutorial, which would be me just doing my makeup and talking to you guys. And then the last choice was my current skincare routine. Of course, my current skincare routine won and that is why we're in my bathroom. So I'm gonna share with you guys my current skincare routine. I have a morning routine and I have a nightly routine and right now it's nighttime and I have a full face of makeup on. So I think I'm gonna do my nighttime routine with you guys, which is more intense than my morning routine. So you'll get to see products that I use every single night. I always get this question if I change my products like all the time, if I'm always using new things. And the truth is I am. I'm always trying new products. I love trying new products and I feel like when it comes to your skin, your skin gets used to things. It's kind of like when you go to the gym and you do the same workout routine every single time you go to the gym, your body gets used to things. So you gotta change it up. And I truly just love trying new products for a long time. My skin was really sensitive. I didn't do that. I didn't have the luxury of trying new things because I would just break out. As of right now, I can try a lot of new things, but the products I'm gonna be sharing with you are products I use on a day-to-day -day basis and products that I always come back to that I have used over and over again that I just love, love. Since we are here in my bathroom, I feel like I, and you, if you're doing your skincare routine with me, hey, if you're watching this, get your skincare out and let's do it together. I feel like I should be in something a little bit more comfortable right now and maybe you should too. So I'm gonna change. One second. This is much better. Got my robe on. I feel like an essential part of skincare is you gotta be comfy. So right now I'm gonna take my earrings out. And in my bathroom, I have this little dish that usually is to the side of me that I set all my earrings in. These are all my earrings here. The first step in my skincare routine is I gotta remove my lashes, but I wanna do it in a very gentle way. See, I've actually ripped my whole eyelash off of my eye by just taking a false lash and just tugging it off. You can destroy your natural lashes, so if you're watching this and you do that, stop, stop. You gotta stop right now and you gotta do this because this is gonna keep your lashes healthy. It's gonna keep them there. It's gonna keep them on. And you don't have to worry about losing all your lashes. To remove my lashes, I'm gonna use the Bifacial by Lancome. And this is actually a makeup remover. I've been using this for so long. This is my favorite makeup remover of all time. My mom was actually the one that recommended it to me. And now I'm just hooked. And my people, before we get ahead of ourselves here, I'm gonna put a headband on. How cute is this headband? It's Princess Jasmine. I love it. I love this. I just get a little bit on the end of the Q-tip. And then what I do is I rub up against my lash and I just loosen the lash band until it is easy to gently pull off. And as you can see, it's already coming off on its own. So I just rubbing until it just slides off. And then usually I just take my lashes and I put them in a lash holder of some kind. I actually don't have it in my room right now, but I typically keep it next to my sink. I love to double cleanse. So first I use a cleansing oil and then I go in with a cleanser. These are the two cleansing oils that I really love. My favorite one is from DHC and it's the deep cleansing oil. That's the one I'm gonna be using today. And I have used this again and again and again and again. And I'm gonna keep using it because it just works so well. The purpose of a cleansing oil is it's gonna remove any bit of makeup that you have on, especially Especially if you wear full face makeup like I do, cleansing oils are so essential in your skincare routine because they help get rid of all the makeup that's sitting on your skin, even your eye makeup, your lash glue, your lipstick. You don't need any makeup remover on your face at all if you use this product. Now that I've wet my skin, I'm gonna take about two pumps of this. Mix 
mix it up in your hands and it's very oily. I'm going to rub it all over my face, my eyes, my lips, my brows. And just so you guys know, this doesn't burn or sting your eyes. So it's really good if you have sensitive skin, you're gonna be a-okay. And I put a lot of bronzer and stuff in my hairline, so I always rub this in there because you can really break out there, so make sure you're getting that area. And under the jaw, you can bring this down your neck too if you wear foundation on your neck. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off the cleansing oil. And I'm just drying off my face with this bamboo facial washcloth. And I just started using these. They're so soft on your skin. They feel really nice. But if I'm not using these, I always use my makeup eraser. And for masks, I love the face halos, so. So the cleansing doesn't stop here. It has just begun. So these are my two favorite cleansers right now. And I use these at nighttime typically. I love the fresh sugar strawberry exfoliating face wash. This smells so good. You just want to eat it. And it's a really gentle exfoliant. So if you have sensitive skin you really like this but lately i have been using the truth juice daily cleanser from ula henriksen i love ula henriksen products they work so amazing for my skin and what's really cool about this is this actually removes makeup as well so it's going to take off any extra makeup that i have and it has orange fruit water and pha it's so good but i actually like rotate back and forth between these two you need this in your life i'm telling you a little bit of this goes a long way. You only need a tiny bit. I'm gonna take about this much, probably like a dime size amount, and I'm gonna rub that into my skin. Look at us, we're like a Vogue video. And I'm pretending I'm somebody uh, of relevancy. Now that I've got my cleanser on, I'm gonna pick up my Foreo, and this is the Luna 3. I love the Foreos, they're so good. I really like them because they're very sanitary. They are silicone, and they just feel very gentle on the skin. They really cleanse deeply without being abrasive. So with a lot of facial brushes, sometimes they could feel very scratchy, and they can almost feel like they've damaged your skin, but this is very soft on the skin, and I love it. It keeps my skin clear, and I can tell a difference when I use it that my skin just feels and looks brighter and cleaner and I can't live without this thing. So I'm just gonna dip this in some water and I'm gonna turn it on. And it actually pulsates so it feels super nice. If you do have anything under the skin, this is gonna help with that. You know, excess makeup on, this is gonna help take that off. But what I notice most about it is it just makes my skin look a lot smoother. So I'm just gonna go around my whole face with the Foreo until it shuts off. All right, we're done. So now I'm gonna rinse this off. As much as I wanna like drag my skin, like go like this, I try not to and I just make sure you're really just tapping your skin to dry it and not like dragging it down. It's just kind of press. So this is my red light and I love doing red light therapy about three to five times a week. And I notice such a difference with it versus when I don't do it, I can totally tell this really improves the look of my skin. And red light therapy is for mainly anti-aging, wrinkles, fine lines, stuff like that. And I feel like it's helped so much with the smoothness of my skin. I have a really like prominent indention right here under my eye and I get it a lot when I'm tired. You can see it even more and I feel like it's helped so much under my eyes and right here along my eyes. And the reason why I can use it three to five times a week and use it frequently is because this is a very mild version of an actual red light. So this is not as strong as something that you would find in like an esthetician's office. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. So you use this for about three minutes and I just turn it on. By the way, if you do have safety goggles, make sure you pop those on. I'm gonna be closing my eyes when I hold it close to that area, so I'm not going to wear them, but you definitely should. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on, and this is what it looks like. And you can hold it on a certain problem area, or you can move it around over the course of three minutes. And you wanna do this after you cleanse when you have nothing on your skin. Honestly, you guys, skincare gadgets are everything. I have so many of them. So if you want to hear about them, hear about what I use them for and what are some of my favorites, then let me know because I have so many and I just love them so much. Now I hold this around my eye area and I make sure to keep this eye closed. And you know, when it comes to skincare, you guys, I feel like it is 
the biggest form of self-care. If you just have a little bit of time, five minutes, 10 minutes out of your day to do your skincare, it makes a world of a difference. It's relaxing and it starts to become something that you never forget to do. Like once you have a skincare routine and you really get into it, you won't not want to do it, you know? Okay, when you hear the beep, it's done. So we're done. So I don't do a face mask every single night, but I try to do them a couple times a week. So I wanted to include this in this routine. And this is my favorite face mask right now. It's from Fresh Beauty and it's the Rose face mask. It's infused with real rose petals and it literally smells oh, like real roses. It smells so good. It's really hydrating on the skin. So whenever my skin's feeling really dry, like right now my skin feels super dry, I love popping this on. And it's just really soothing. You only have to wear it for about five minutes and then you can take it off. All right, so we're gonna leave this on for five minutes. And I'm just gonna use my face halo to take it off. And these remove face masks so well. I also have some makeup erasers that look like this and I love using those too. I have a code with makeup eraser if you guys want to check those out. They look like this. You can use my code Victoria Lynn when you shop and they're just so essential. A product like this is really, really essential when you are doing your skincare. It just, it helps so much. So after I do a mask and before I do a serum, I always add like a toner or an essence. So I'm gonna be using an essence today. Now there's a difference between the two, you guys. The difference between a toner and an essence is this. An essence is more for someone who has dry skin or someone who wants like more hydration to their skin because what you're gonna do with this is just tap it into your skin and it's gonna allow serums and moisturizers to penetrate more deeply into your skin and sink in. While a toner is typically used with like a cotton swab and you kind of rub it around your skin, it gets any excess makeup, oil, dirt. This one controls oil and when I'm breaking out, I use this one and it is amazing and I love it. But I lately have been using this one from Fresh Beauty and it's an essence. So we're going for that hydration route for this routine. And this is the Black Tea Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence. It's anti-pollution, age delay, and it just smells so good and feels so hydrating. So I'm just gonna take a bit of it. You kind of apply this like aftershave basically. So just like this, and I just press it into my skin, just like this. And you'll notice with this product that over time it really softens your skin. Your skin feels like a baby. So if you have like a lot of texture or if your skin is just super dry, try an essence because it will change the game for you. So after I use a toner or an essence, I go in with my serum and I always use a serum. This is a game changer, you guys. This is the Truth Serum from Ula Henriksen. So it's actually like a collagen booster. It makes your skin look so plump and like full. It's very hydrating and glowy. So it actually adds a really nice glow to your skin and it does have vitamin C as well. So I'm gonna take about a pump and a half of it, like this much. And I use this in the morning and at night and it's amazing. And I'm just gonna rub this into my skin like a moisturizer. So these are two face creams I love so much. And this is the Fresh Beauty Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. And I also have the Ula Henriksen Double Cream. And this is the Sea Rush Brightening Double Cream or Double Creme. I believe it's a creme, that's what it's called. Fancy, fancy. I really love the consistency of this one. It's very thick and it feels really, really hydrating on the skin. This has three sources of vitamin C and shea butter. So it's really, really good for your skin. The Deep Hydration Cream is also a favorite of mine. And I think I'm gonna be using this one today. So I have really long nails, so I just like to scoop it out with my masking brush. Take a good bit of it. I know, it's a, it's a lot of cream, you guys. I probably use way more than I should. The consistency of this cream is very, very thick, but it just feels amazing. And when you wake up in the morning, your skin looks so glowy. 
So now we're gonna do our neck cream and I wanna be so preventative when it comes to, you know, aging and stuff. I'm 24, but I wanna make sure I take care of my neck. So I'm using the Confidence in a Neck Cream and it's like this salmon color and it's by It Cosmetics. So I try to use this every single night. Now, truth be told, sometimes I forget, but for the most part, I do remember to put it on. So I'm gonna put about this much. It's a hefty amount. And you just wanna rub it upwards. Now I got sold on this from QVC. Those of you who watch QVC, if you're like me, don't you just like wanna buy everything? I bought this because of QVC. But also the before and after photos just really made me want this cream. I don't have any other neck creams besides this one and I just really love it. I've noticed that I have some lines in my neck from looking down at my phone, so I'm trying to hydrate my neck as much as I can. Our neck is moisturized. So we're gonna move on to under eyes. Didn't forget about those. The under eye area is my biggest problem area, I would say, because I get a lot of lines like right here and right here and I have to, have to, have to do eye gels under my eyes almost every other day and I have to do eye cream every single morning and every single night or else my under eyes look a wreck. My under eyes are very bougie. They have a mind of their own. So here are my favorite eye creams. I love the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment. This is really brightening under the eyes. This is a great one to use in the morning. And this is an avocado eye treatment. So it has like this really light, light, light green color. It looks like this. And I swear when you put it on, it looks like you're wearing concealer. Another one that's really good is the Youth Eye Dose Treatment from Kiehl's. This has like a light color to it as well. So it's very brightening under the eyes. It has retinol in it. And this is the one I've actually been using every single night. And it's by Alginist. And this is the Complete Eye Renewal Balm. Take a bit of it and just pop it under my eyes. I always take the excess and I do apply it on my lids because I have extremely dry eyelids. Now I get rashes and like eczema right here on my eyes, just right in the crease area. And that's from the fact that I use eyeshadows like a lot, a lot, a lot, and I have such sensitive eyes that when I rub my eyes with a brush over and over again, it actually brings it out and I get super dry, just like right in here. So eye creams on my lid help me tremendously and I don't notice anything weird happening with it other than it just hydrates. This is the best lip balm on planet Earth. This is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm and it's in the pear flavor. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on my lips. So last but not least, I always do a facial mist and the routine. And these are my two ride or die favorites. This is the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Antioxidant Glow Water. And I also love this one from Glow Recipe. This is the Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. Both of these are just equally amazing and I love them. So I'm gonna use the one from Glow Recipe. And I just go straight down so I get my whole face. I love the fresh one because the mister is just so nice. It's a really, really fine mist. Okay, so we have completed my current skincare routine. I have gotten so many requests for this video. I've been asked so many times, like what are the products that you use every single day? And these are it right here, you guys. I love them and they work really well for my skin. I will definitely do updated skincare routines because I do change my skincare a ton. So if I notice my skin's dull, that's when I change up my routine and I try something new. A lot of the videos that I post on Instagram, I am trying different types of products. I do incorporate those products into my routine every now and then and I switch it up especially in the morning I like to try new things and during the day I try different products and stuff some of the routines I do on Instagram are also like self-care routines as far as treating myself to like a unique kind of mask or like a unique kind of routine and I want to do more of those videos on this channel because I feel like self-care is something that is so important to me and has helped me so much and i really want to share it with you guys because i think if you tried it and you did take a little bit of time to do self-care skincare you'll notice such a huge difference in your skin and also in you because not only are you treating you know your skin but you're also treating yourself at the same time you guys may not know this but before i got into doing makeup and before I was like into blogging and stuff, I really was interested in being an esthetician at one point 
because I love skin. I love like learning about skin and trying new things and helping others. And now I'm just really excited to share, you know, skincare with you guys here on this channel. So if you have any requests for more skincare videos, leave them down below and I will totally film them for you guys. I wanna do self-care videos. Are you guys down for that? Let me know. Self-care 2020, let's do this. I'm gonna take my little headband off. Now we are ready for some snacks and some Netflix and some bedtime. Are you guys with me? So here's a close up look at my skin. We got some glow from all these products and it's gonna be even better in the morning because all this is really gonna soak in. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure you like it. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up right now if you enjoyed seeing my current skincare routine. And if you wanna see more videos from me and join the fam, be sure you subscribe right now to my channel and hit the post notifications so you can be notified every time I post a video. And thank you all so much for watching. I'm so happy to be back and I cannot wait to post some amazing content for you guys this year in 2020. I'm gonna make it a point to post really great content for you all and I'm so excited to create it. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye.